everyone, Eva here. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited to make my salad, my dinner salad with you today. This is not just a dinner salad. This is the dinner salad. This is the most amazing dinner salad you're ever gonna see. This is what I've been eating lately. I mix it, things up a little bit, but for the most part, this is my meal. This is my main meal. This is my main gig. This is what I eat on a daily basis or almost daily basis. This is all I want, this is all I crave, this is the happiest food in the world and I want to show you just what I make, just how I do it. I can't wait to share this uh, recipe with you. Uh, this is my bowl, my beautiful wooden bowl, uh, acacia wood. I think that the dishes that we use to serve our food in matter and you eat with your eyes too and I love beautiful wood bowls. So this is pretty much what I do. I fill this up with all the goodies, all the goodness and I'm going to show you exactly what I put in there. Okay, so the first thing is romaine. I love romaine. It's my favorite lettuce. About this much. One little tip about lettuce is if you dry it really well, this is a clean cloth, obviously. If you dry it really well, the dressing, the dressing will uh, stick to the lettuce better and it'll be more delicious, your salad. So just thought I'd share that. But I like to cut my salad super little, little pieces. I like a chopped salad. I don't like big, huge sheets of food in my plate. Okay. So second thing I do is bitter greens. I love bitter greens. These are already washed. These are liver cleansers. People don't give credit to the bitter greens. I'm a huge believer, believer? I keep saying that today. Believer in the bitter greens. A salad doesn't have to just be one type of lettuce. There goes my bitter greens. Okay, the other thing I love to put in my salad is cilantro. It's a detoxifier, liver cleanser, blood purifier. It does it all. But I do put quite a lot of cilantro. The other thing I do is my, oh wait, I have parsley somewhere in here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here's the parsley. I do a little bit of parsley too. I love parsley. A good amount of parsley. Looking pretty good. Okay, next thing I do is, you know I'm crazy about microgreens and sprouts. So I have some sunflower sprouts here. I'm gonna put a good amount of sunflower sprouts, probably about that much. So I'm gonna add some of these um, lentils. I love lentils, I've always loved lentils, but I don't eat cooked food anymore. So, um, this is how I eat my lentils. And I think lentils are amazing. I'm working out and I do go to the gym and I lift some weight. So lentils have a lot of iron, a lot of protein. And I think that a lot of raw vegans don't get enough protein. And I know there's protein in everything we eat, but still I think that a lot of us don't get enough protein. So this is my way of getting a little extra protein. I'll put them here on the end. I'm also gonna do some kale. It's very, very rich in iron also on protein. You know the stems is where the minerals are. I know most people throw these away, but honestly, if you can be bothered to chew on these or juice, I guess, um, but if you can be bothered, to, juicing is not as good as eating the whole thing. Um, but if you can be bothered to chew on these, these are amazing. This is where most of the minerals actually are. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not saying do the whole, don't do a stem salad, but if you could be bothered to put some stems in there and chew on them, you'll get a lot of benefits from it. I like to chop my kale pretty small. I do a little bit of cabbage too, not too much, because I think too much makes my salad too chewy, but I cut it very, very thin. I'm also gonna do some pepper and I love green pepper. It's one of my favorite flavors. However, you know, when you eat unripened fruit and uh, unripened, this is a fruit, um, it actually robs minerals from your body. And green peppers, they're just not fully ripened peppers. Having said that, I love the flavor of green pepper and green pepper has a lot of vitamin C. So I think in this instance, I do a little exception and I eat an unripened fruit because I love the flavor so much. And I also do, I love red onion and I only add a little bit too. The redder the color, the more color, the more pigment in a vegetable, the better it is for you. The way I like to do it is I like to separate it 
and make it pretty. I'm gonna also do a couple of radishes. I I'm not gonna say I love radishes. I don't really love radishes. I've grown to love radishes. I never used to love radishes. Radishes were one of those things that I avoided like the plague, but I appreciate their properties. They're a little tangy and I think they're also very pretty. So I do do some radishes there because they add some color, they add some nutrients. And I, ha I went through a period where I never ate radishes and I think it's important to keep your gut microbiome very diverse. Don't eat the same foods all day, every day because that's what people do, especially raw food is. They have a huge smoothie with 10 bananas and 10 dates and and then they have, you know, zucchini noodles for dinner, and then they have uh, monami all of mangoes or whatever. And I just found that through my personal experience, the more, the more variety, the better off you're gonna be. The more variety, the more diverse your gut microbiome is gonna be. Because don't forget, fiber is a prebiotic; is the is the food for your for your gut bacteria. So you have to keep it, keep it very diverse. I read a report that recommended that we eat at least 30 different plants every week. Count how many plants you're having this week. And you'll be surprised, you're probably eating about 10 different plants this week. So what I try to do is I add as much, it's just like a symphony, it's a beautiful symphony. I add as many different plants as I can into my diet and um, I don't overdo the fruit as you probably know. And um, so this is, this is one way of doing it. Just try a different food. Every time you go to the supermarket, pick something that you haven't usually, that you don't eat or that you haven't had in a long time. So lately I've been having, uh, I haven't had radishes. So I just started picking up on the radishes again. The other day I did broccolini because I don't usually eat broccolini. And um, so yeah, I tried to keep it interesting, keep my gut microbiome um, healthy that way. Okay, another thing I like to add is cucumber because I love the crunchiness of cucumber. But what I like to do is I, I cut them very, very thin. That keeps the salad different textures. The next thing I'm going to add is some microgreens. You know I'm crazy about microgreens. Today I only have the sunflower sprouts, which I've already done. I'm having some cabbage microgreens. Uh, no, what are those? Yeah, those are cabbage microgreens, sorry. And I'm also going to have the lentil sprouts. And usually I like to add at least three different, three or four different microgreens. The more the better. Baby plants are in their prime. They have the most nutrition. They have a hundred times more nutrients than their fully grown counterparts. So I'm a huge believer in microgreens. I'm in the middle of moving. My house is a mess. I'm not on top of my microgreen. So what you want to do is cut them really close to the root mat with a really good sharp knife. I have a really good knife. This knife is amazing. And careful not to cut on you know the dirt and then get dirt on your on your food so I just go like this can you see that okay okay another thing I like to do that's a little bit different is I like to add a little bit of amazing wild rice wild rice is not a grain it's actually a grass and you don't have to be a, uh, afraid of eating it and the way you do this is you basically soak the rice you put it in a bowl overnight with nice fresh filtered water and you let it soak the next morning you rinse it and then you soak it again and I basically I think I soaked this for about two days and the texture is amazing it's a little bit crunchy actually not crunchy chewy and it adds a definite different dimension to a salad that you don't normally typically get it's very very flavorful Three teaspoons of that, three, maybe four. I don't know, lately I'm just crazy about it. It's really good. Mm. It has a lot of minerals. One more thing. Look how pretty this looks, by the way. One thing I like to do, and I don't recommend this unless you live alone. I don't live alone, I live with a husband. <laughs> I'm kid, but I love raw garlic and garlic is a fantastic, well, we all know the properties of garlic, but it's antifungal, antimicrobial. And a lot of people put it in their dressing, but what I do is actually, 
I like to chop it and I like to put it on my salad. So I'm gonna chop a little bit of garlic. Lately, my dressings have been very, very simple, very, very, um, you can tell I'm not a chef by the way I hold my knife, right? I'm not a great chef, but you can be everything in life. <laughs> I'm not a chef, but I enjoy eating. I do a little bit of gar, well, I wouldn't call that a little, but I do garlic. It's just so good. Sometimes I dehydrate garlic. Have you ever done that? Dehydrate garlic, add a little garlic to a dish, raw, put a little salt, a little olive oil, a little uh, parsley and dehydrate it and it's amazing. That's, that's the salad. I'm gonna show you my dressing next, but oh my God, how does this look? Amazing, right? Okay, so one thing I forgot was the avocado. No salad is complete without avocado. So I'm gonna do just a half an avocado. So. I'm gonna add a little avocado. I add a little bit of nutritional yeast because I love the cheesy flavor. I don't mix it with my dressing. And I feel about that much. Okay. And then for dressing, what I've been doing is a little bit of tahini. About that much tahini. This is a little controversial. A lot of people don't believe in oils. I believe in oils. Oils have amazing properties. I don't overdo the oils. I don't douse my salad in oils. I use a little tiny bit of oil sometimes. And lately I've really been enjoying my flaxseed oil. I use about a teaspoon of it. I mix it with my dressing. It makes it so creamy, so delicious. I also use really good high quality olive oil. Uh, I don't believe in not enjoying my food. If a little oil is gonna enjoy my beautiful salad even more, enjoyable i'm going to use a little oil some people are really strict with the oil and the salt i'm not one of those people i just think that you know you can make up your own mind on that just go without oils like i did for a while and see how you like it i do personally better with a little bit of fat in my in my diet so i mix the tahini with a little bit of the oil and i use a little bit of olive oil too and i use a little bit i mean a tiny tiny bit right then I'm gonna do a little lemon both here and here and then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt both here and here okay so then I do like to mix everything really good Lately, I've also been enjoying these crackers, which are amazing, buckwheat crackers. These crackers are amazing. They're, they're just flaky. They are, they're flavorful. Oh, mm -mm -mm. And so, my salad, a little more lemon. This to me is heaven. I don't need anything else in life. If I can have this salad every day for the rest of my life, I'll be happy. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I have been keeping the dressings to a minimum as far as ingredients. I used to make really complicated dressings with so many different ingredients. Now I much more enjoy very plain dressings. Sometimes I just do olive oil, very little, like you saw, maybe a teaspoon, a lot of lemon. Sometimes I do tahini, sometimes I do a little ginger in my dressing, sometimes I, I, keep it, I keep it different, but definitely I like the plainer dressings lately. Of course, things change when you're human, you do different things, you try different approaches. Um, we get stuck in ruts just like everyone else. If you eat regular, <laughs> regular cooked food, you get stuck in a rut too. In raw food world, it happens too, you get stuck in ruts. So I like to mix it, I like to try different things, but. Right now, this is my go-to meal. I love it. I hope you try a beautiful salad like this. I'm gonna go enjoy my salad. I hope you, you have a fabulous day and thank you so much for being here with me today. Have a beautiful, a beautiful day. Thank you.